In this program, there is a k and the function that um, that's called digit and takes the input x. And so k is one, two, three. And what the pro um, program is going to do, I'm going to print out every digit of k and put it in an array. So um, I'll call the function, and um, this x would be k, which would be one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Um, inside the function, there's something called C, which will um, start as true, and um, array will start as um, as empty. And while C is equal to true, um, what it will do is it will make D equals X modulo 10. So what that does is basically um, it will find the remainder after dividing it by 10. So um, 123 divided um, the uh, modulo 10 would be 3 because 123 divided by 10 is 12 with a remainder of 3. So it's going to add that to the array and then divide and then divide x which is 1 2 3 by 10 to make x 12. Um it'll divide by 10 and round down. So then I'll go back to start the while loop and do that again. So 12 um, modulo 10 is um is 12 modulo 10 is 2 because 12 divided by 10 is 1 with 2 extra. So um, that'll be two, and then I'll add two to the array, and then it'll um, then it'll divide that by ten, which would be one, and then um, and then I'll do that again. So one modulo ten remainder is one. Add that to the array, and then um, and then divide by ten. One divided by ten is zero because you're rounding down. So that, and, and that means it'll break. This will work with every um with every number, and that's how and that's how it works. So. And then it'll reverse the array using something called array dot reverse because it's um because the order currently is three two one so I need to reverse that to get the proper digit and then it will return that so I'll exit the um um array, uh, the function so a will now be um array because that's what it returns and then I'll print a getting one two three.